So good day everyone, my name is Irina and uh, I will be your host for today's event. Welcome to our webinar Navigating Hypertrock and Security in Microsoft 365. During this event you will hear real-life cases showing the seamless hybrid collaboration's power. We understand that your time is valuable and we appreciate your decision to spend it with us. We hope uh, that you, you find this webinar informative and enjoyable. So, uh, I would like to introduce our speaker. This is our speaker's with pleasure, Max Kushenka, represents Cloudfresh. Hi, Max. Uh, Penio Penev, so Pharma Group. Hi, Penio. Pavel Soku represents CMX Group. Hi. Pavel and Tudor Berkan represents Adenovo. Hi, Tudor. Uh, I'm happy uh, to see you in our webinar. So a few words about Cloudfresh and who we are. Cloudfresh is a global Google Cloud partner, Zendesk, Asana, GitLab, Microsoft, and Okta partner, uh, trusted by more than 1,400 customers in all over the world. Uh, our company entire cycle of professional services at every step at your journey with a solution such as uh, development, integration, support, uh, training, audit and consulting and many more. Uh, and uh, uh, you have a chance today to receive a gift at our bank for the best question to our speakers. So we encourage you to ask questions and engage in discussion. Uh, and I'm happy to introduce the first speaker, Max Kushnika. So, Max, stage is yours, please. Max, please uh, turn on your microphone. Yeah, I'm sorry. Thank you, Eugenia. Hi, all. Hope you're all doing well. My name is Max, and I'm cloud engineer at CloudFresh. Uh, today, I will tell you about Microsoft. The world has changed a lot over the past few years. Employ work from home or multiply locations and use devices, some personal, some company owning. There is a growing awareness that remote work is here to stay. So let's do it right. <clears throat> and at the same time, there are three things that concern our clients most. First one, how can we better handle remote work and keep employees productive and connected? how we keep their data and device secure in a distributed work environment. And third one, how can we manage costs? The, uh, yeah. Let's first examine some key pieces of information. Security is a key challenge for small and medium businesses. In fact, there has been over 300% increase in ransomware attacks with over 50% targeting small businesses. In the past year, the economic cost of this for small and medium businesses can be catastrophic, with over 60% of small businesses not being able to operate after they were experiencing a cyber attack. Yes. What is SMBTELUS? They need a solution that can help us optimize hybrid work while protecting against cyber threats while still maintaining those costs. The good news is we have is Microsoft 365 that provides you comprehensive secure remote work solution to help of these needs. It brings together your favorite productivity tools from Port, Excel, Outlook, and of course, Microsoft Teams, along with advanced remote access security and device management capabilities. Basically one solution that has uh, all that, that you need to run and grow your business while having peace of mind that your business information is protected, the most important thing. So let's about, talk about the capabilities in Microsoft 365. With the Microsoft Teams, you can bring uh, everyone in your team on the same page, wherever they work with the group chat, online meetings, calling and web conferencing. Plus, you can stay connected with customers, partners, and vendors through online meetings, as well as collaborate, uh, for example, on share files and documents. Of course, you can use Teams for informal one-to-one -one chess or group chess 
or you can have open conversations in the channel. You can collaborate in real time by clustering files and sharing them quickly and easily with people inside and outside your company. Plus, with shared documents in the cloud, you get the benefit like version control, data loss prevention. Conduct meetings inside or outside their organization using a computer or mobile phone. It is common to work on teams with contractors, consultants, or other type of employee outside of your company. Guest access allows these people to fully participate and collaborate right along with you, including scheduling a team's meeting with anyone who has a valid business or consumer email address. Making and receiving phone calls from anywhere a cloud-based phone system in the Teams. Enabling secure access is really the first step in enabling work from anywhere. With Microsoft 365, you can protect against lost or stolen passwords by using additional layer of security, using multi-factor authentication, provide the right people with the right access, and work apps using Azure AD. Enable secure remote desktop access. With the shift to work from home, has come an increase in cyber attacks like phishing. Microsoft Defender for Office helps safeguard your user's identity and defend against in cyber threats. With increased cyber threats like phishing attacks and ransomware, you know about it. And we know that uh, our customers are concerned. Microsoft protects your business from these external threats by giving you access to the same enterprise grade services and protections used by many of these world largest companies. How is it working? Links are checked in real time. To warn you, if destination is malicious site with safe links, when a user clicks on URL in the email message or in an office file, the link is checked by defender safe links is identified as blocked, malicious or safe before opening the website. For example, user will get a warning page if the link is deemed malicious. Defender safe attachments feature in Microsoft 365 can scan each and every attachment which is coming in via email. When the safe attachment policy is in place, email attachments are opened in test or like a virtual environment or sandbox. If it determinates to be malicious, the attachment will not open. This protection also applies to attachments in SharePoint Online, OneDrive, or Teams. AI-powered anti-phishing intelligence helps protect against impersonation and spoofing with anti-phishing. To combat with latest phishing methods where attackers impersonate person or your brand, machine learning is used to analyze past emails patterns and relationships to find uh, like anomalies that can indicate spoofing has occurred. By enforcing Microsoft Defender malware protection across all your company Windows devices, you can help prevent users from interacting with ransomware and malicious web locations and protect files in key system folders from changed by made ransomware. Most businesses deal with a variety of sensitive information like customer credit card numbers, UOB, or even intellectual property that is a core to running of the business. Keeping this information safe can be a daunting task for any businesses, but especially for SMBs. Microsoft helps you protect your business data or sensitive customer or employ information from accidental leaks by utilizing data loss prevention capabilities. These DLP policies can help to identify, monitor, and protect sensitive information through deep content analysis, even if your staff forgot to apply these controls. It includes pre-configured templates that can help detect specified type of sensitive information being communicated, such as credit card number, SSN, DOB, or even locale specific personally, like identifiable information. It also provides policy tips which can help educate and prevent end user from accident sharing of sensitive information and info displaying by policy like tip in Outlook. With the Microsoft, your employees can easily encrypt emails and documents or impose controls such as do not print or do not forward. 
You can communicate securely with customers or other people outside your company. You can ensure that only the intended recipient can read the message. So uh, let's talk about Azure Information Protection, which gives to us option to classify and protect important information and also apply appropriate controls. With it, you can control whether a document can edit it or print it or viewed by non-employees. It applies to documents sitting on file share and SharePoint or wherever. You can also revoke access to an employee which has left a company, for example. Also, let's um, speak about a little bit more. Let's use example. Uh, for example, <clears throat> Megan is the sales manager in the CloudFresh company. Uh, she created the company annual sales forecast and classify it is like highly confidential. This essentially looks at the document because at your company, highly confidential files are automatically encrypted and only accessible to company employees have access to that file. After Megan shared the file with her team, like Carlos, Car Car he is a CloudFresh salesperson. Attempts to open this file. When he opened the file, Microsoft verified that he is a CloudFresh employee and decrypted this file for him. This verification occurs each time that the file is accepted. This protection stays with the document even uh, if it's said outside the company, for example. Let's say that Carlos said the document to a USB drive and then get a job at another company. Even so, Carlos still has CloudFresh sales forecast. It is useless to him because when he tries to open the file, he is unable to decrypt it since he is no longer a CloudFresh employee. The restrictions and protections stay with the file and emails regardless of this location. There are couple ways to approach device management. Mobile application management, MAM, typically for personally owned use devices, so that company only has control over the applications used for business purposes. Users can use their personal devices to access organizational resources. For example, you can um, apply protection policies to help ensure that corporate data is only saved to, for example, uh, OneDrive for business or SharePoint. Mobile device management, MD. M typically used for company only devices. Users can enroll their devices and use certificates to communicate with Intune. They have ability to configure mobile device policies, such as enforcing complex pins or passwords, remote wipe or lock, device encryption, etc. MAM, mobile application management, is more common in SMB scenarios due to BYOD, bring your own device environments, and you to uh, your partner can manage this policy through the simple setup wizard. Uh, with remote and hybrid work, employees are using personal mobile devices to access work data, and you may be concerned if your work data is secure. With the Microsoft, we have multi layer protection, like which allows us to protect the data at the application level without the need for traditional containerization or sandboxing and because we leverage the user uh, identity <clears throat> in our approach we can enable multi-identity usage for uh, of applications where applications policies are intelligent enough to only apply to data which are applicable to corporate accounts on employee owned devices our capabilities here include like application encryption interest, application access control, like pins or credentials, save or copy or paste restrictions, policies, application level, selective wipe, manage web browser, for example, and for sure, secure viewing of PDFs, images, and videos. Intune is the only mobility management solution that can control Office with such much granular control without compromising on the and user experience. With the MAM, Mobile Application Management, we have built an invisible wall between the personal data and corporate data, while not impacting the user experience. Employees are able to use the applications like Word and Outlook, for example. They have 
this knowledge base about using well at the same time IT is able to protect their data which is contained within the applications and devices. So uh, my colleagues, colleagues will tell about their successful case. Thank you for your attention. Now I will pass my word to Benio. 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 Can you hear us? Can you? I think, Jenya, uh, can you help me with it? Uh, yeah, I think Penyo will uh, reconnect just now because I have he, maybe he has some problems with the internet. I hope uh, everything will be okay soon. Penio, please uh, let me know. Do you hear me? Just. Yeah, uh, mm -hmm. Penio. Uh -huh. Just a moment. Mm -hmm. I think we will uh, change. We will uh, decide this problem. I think maybe we can continue with another speaker and we will switch the position. What do you think? Yes, I will. Sorry, Pena, something went wrong Hello, do you hear me? Connection. Yeah, now, now is better. Uh, so uh, let's switch Peño and we uh, just continue with uh, uh, the speaker. I hope Peño could uh, uh, reconnect soon. So please, uh, Pavel. Yes, hi to everybody. It's nice to see you here. Lovely, yeah. So uh, definitely I can continue, that's absolutely fine. So uh, I will be talking a little bit about the culture, about the culture in Microsoft. Uh, it's definitely more, it's one of the most important things when you are going to implement it, Microsoft Teams in general. And I will share my experience, what I've learned during these implementations, and hopefully it will be useful for you. So guys, let's start. So uh, uh, why I think the Microsoft Teams are like crucial uh, for for the culture uh, in the company, uh, it's it's very important to know and what how the Microsoft Teams will influence uh, the culture after implementation. And before we will get to that, it's very important to know as well what Microsoft Teams are not uh, used for or not ready for and uh, these are a couple of things so first one is that in microsoft teams uh, you don't have too much tools how you can really control every step of the user what exactly it means so if the user uh, if you will stop the governance for your microsoft teams and you will give the rights uh, uh, to the users that they can share the file and they can contribute by themselves uh, in the company and outside the companies. So, th so that's it. That's it. The, the government is set, and everything uh, what the user will be done is on his own responsibility. Microsoft Teams definitely leads people for responsibilities, and they are a little bit removing the responsibilities from the IT. It's perfect because it speeds up the thing. However, uh, IT can feel a little bit like discomfort because uh, they don't have like full control over everything what happens over the documents and so on. Of course, you can use the IPE as, as Maxima already spoke about or something different technologies which can be uh, used for the controlling over the uh, informations. But um, IT is not that 
involved that much as it used to be. So, so definitely you have to be ready that you are giving the power to the users. Uh, another thing which you should be ready for is that if you will use, for example, Microsoft Planner, pretty good tool, simple tool for using of the of the task management. Uh, users are still able somehow to like not follow the process which you will set. For example, you can very simply uh, change the date when the task has, has to be done, and nobody will notify it. Uh, so, so you have to have people in your teams where you really trust the people. So you are giving the power to the people and you have to have trust to the people. And this is a huge culture change if you compare it, for example, uh, uh, one huge, unknown, I will not know, name the company, but a really different, huge company uh, developing the databases. They are working like managers. They are don't like making co-working environment and this is this was an unbelievable huge change so so you have to be really prepared to do it and keep it in mind uh, and please be ready that you as an IT guy you will definitely not have a full control over that uh, and if if you will succeed on that then uh, you can have a benefits from uh, from the Microsoft Teams in general. Uh, I can give you this, a very nice example. Uh, we probably everybody knows the picture where we have a manager and where we have a team leader. Manager is the guy who is uh, who has a whip and uh, saying it. Yes, go and do that. And the team uh, team leader, let's say, is somebody who really helps the team to succeed on their daily work. So. Uh, my experience is saying that uh, if the manager, the direct order will say, yes, let's go and use the Microsoft Teams, you will have like 85% roughly success because uh, most of the people in the company will follow that rule. And that's very simple, strict. And usually on the beginning, it's, the, uh, it, it's, the, it's like success. However, uh, People are forced to do it. They don't believe in that. And Microsoft Teams are definitely changing the way of the working too much, so they have to really believe. Uh, in opposite, my uh, team leader, they usually are talk, taking the processes together with the team. They are talking. Everybody has an opinion. So it saves lots of time, lots of discussion to really implement it. And uh, usually, it's not like yeah everybody is fan of that so 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 not really everybody is using it so you on the beginning you have less usage of microsoft teams uh, less penetration that with the manager however in the time in the time let's say let's talk about one year this uh benefits from the microsoft teams which the team leader approach can get is definitely much higher. Antiperson plus is, is some something what we can measure. Uh, what what can bring uh, in this like culture change approach? So the, the mindsets are a little bit set differently, and uh, it's really painful one year. But after one year, you have a lot of benefit from Microsoft Teams. You have a team where you can trust the people. You have a team where they are responsible for their work and and definitely it's something what what brings an additional benefit to the microsoft teams uh, of course uh, if you will go with a manager approach so that i mean the direct approach you have to do it because i said it uh the the, the usage of microsoft team is slowly decreasing and uh, after one year it's usually working like that people has it as another store for the files it means they, they just synchronize the Microsoft Teams files into the Explorer and that's it. And sometimes they use the Microsoft Planner because somebody asked for that. So so uh, that was like clear message what I saw in the implementation of Microsoft Teams. So if you will do this Microsoft, Microsoft Teams implementation, always please think about the culture change. Uh, it's uh, from my point of view, it's good because it cleans up the teams, it cleans up the approach, it cleans up the mood, and it creates definitely better environment. So uh, please keep it in mind. Uh, team benefits are very simple. I already spoke about it. So this is something what I think it, it brings a lot of additional. 
things. Please, there are some things which you should avoid, of course. Uh, don't uh, stuck with the current way of working, because if you are implementing Microsoft Teams, it will be probably against that, then against the way you work already. Uh, you have to accept this change, and this change should be done by the team management, not the force. Uh, you will always hear that, well, we cannot do it, we cannot do it. Yeah, this is like a terrible tool because we are so special that this doesn't fit to our processes. This specialness, this illusion, 80% of the companies are more or less same in the basic processes and the Microsoft Teams are for the basic processes to speed up these basic processes. So uh, if, if you will get this like arguments Please uh, go deep, ask the person what exactly the specialty is uh, and how you can avoid it. And if, if the specialty really exists, it doesn't bring any value to the company. So uh, I know hard, difficult talks, but very, very crucial for the implementation. So, so please uh, try to avoid this special thing that it will change uh, the way of the Microsoft team should be used. And of course, you have to simplify your user's life. It means uh, uh, people will have a file share. They will have a, a, I don't know how it works in your companies, guys, but uh, in my old current company and previous company, uh, everybody was uh, really counting on the email. So every, every <laughs> everything, uh, the tasks were in the email. Uh, uh, the daily communication were in the emails. So what we are trying to avoid is like cut off the, the, uh, the emails as a way of the communication, cut off the file shares as a space for the storing the documents and uh, replace it with one nice picture of the Microsoft Teams. So when somebody will come to the work, he will open the Teams, then he will open the planner, he see all the tasks which he has to do, and he doesn't need to work with the Outlook except if he t talks to somebody external, of course. So so this is like uh, cut off as many sources as possible. It's a radical approach, but it helps. <laughs> and uh, of course, uh, it, all these things which I'm talking about sounds a little bit like uh, revolution, but it's not. It's definitely not a revolution. Revolution looks totally different. Uh, it's evolution, and this evolution uh, is fortunately done by the, uh, let's say, nice approach of the Microsoft Teams. So, so, so don't uh, or try to explain to people that the revolution is, is something different. We are still on the evolution, and this continuous improvement process is something. But with Microsoft Teams, it's never in, never ending. You know, probably all of you that. Uh, the Microsoft Teams product is changing a lot. So if if you if you are implementing something on January in December, it will be a little bit different. So so this is uh, the message from me, and uh, I'm really welcome. If you will need any like information from any topics from that, uh, just feel free to ask. Uh, uh, that's absolutely fine. So guys, culture is the key from my point of view, and if you will need. Uh, now help me that uh, don't be afraid to ask. Thank you very much for the for the for the time. And uh, Tudor is probably next one, so Tudor, feel free. <laughs> Thank you very much. Hi, Chris. Yes, great, uh, great story you had, Pavel, and indeed it's a, <laughs> it's a tremendous change. Here in Lenovo, we are using as well teams on. Uh, more than daily basis <laughs> yes uh, and it really helps but uh, teams is also an extended tool for most of our customers for the video and audio communication so teams is not just a platform for sharing files or chatting it's now available in the meeting rooms and I'm here in uh, in the position to represent Lenovo for the 
what we call smart collaboration. And in fact, it's video conferencing business for Central and Eastern Europe. Uh, not many customers and partners are currently aware, but uh, Lenovo, it's uh, maybe on the fourth or the fifth position right now as a supplier for video conferencing devices for Teams. So here I just uh, want to quickly mention why are we in this game? Um, as you might know, and uh, everybody knows, I hope, Lenovo is one, probably the number one manufacturer in terms of uh, PC. The statistics always change every quarter, you know. So uh, Lenovo has a fantastic experience in providing uh, probably the best, uh, one of the best PCs in the world. And right now in the meeting rooms across the globe, there is a shift from the traditional way of doing video calls through the codex. If you remember those funny boxes that nobody knows what was inside, what software, what operating system. Now, almost all the meeting rooms are equipped with a specialized computer and some quality peripherals. And when I say peripherals, I mean cameras, microphones and speakers. And due to that, uh, Lenovo decided to step into the game and manufacture those specialized PCs running Teams. A special version of Teams, actually, it's, it's uh, Teams Rooms. So it's not quite what we have right now on our PCs. It's more fancy and more secured. And it has a special design to, to run 24 by 7 and be always on whatever. And um, right now in the market, there is a tremendous demand. Pandemic is over, obviously, but there is a tremendous demand because also our customers have a pressure on reducing the travel costs. So you have to enable your teammates to collaborate to, with their partners, with their colleagues, even in the same town or across the globe with some quality audio and video. So going deeply into the subject, Lenovo currently is having a full portfolio of equipment that can accommodate any type of the meeting rooms. And here I have to, to make a very special observation. The novel approach towards the video conference is rather uh, not so typical from the competition. Why? Because if you are talking with any of our competitors, you have to buy everything from them. So you have somehow you're captive into their ecosystem. But Lenovo took a different approach and said, guys, you can purchase everything from Lenovo, but since the meeting rooms, even though they are small, medium and large, are so different, including in the same building or in the same, uh, let's say, uh, organization, we can't fulfill all the meeting room scenarios. That's for a fact. Who said that has the solution for all the meeting rooms as a standard? Don't trust that sales guy or that supplier. And that's why part of our portfolio, uh, for instance, in the picture, what we call Sigma Hub and Sigma Core, are designed to be integrated with third party vendors. And here I have a very nice picture showing what are our what we call technological partners. So if you are buying or if you're already having peripherals from these vendors, they are natively plug and play tested and fully 110% compatible with our MTR computers. OK, and also if you bought during the pandemic because everybody was in a rush 
to buy some conferencing devices, most of the customers have are using the bring your own device scenario, which means that everybody has to bring their own computer. And now IT, IT guys realize that it's not easy to manage something like that. It's not so secure. People are losing time to connect to the devices. Therefore, they are considering to install a fixed computer running Teams rooms and using already purchased devices. So you don't need to throw away anything what, from what you have in the company. You just need to upgrade or refresh the existing install base. But apart from that, coming back to the previous image, uh, if you don't want to use or you're just trying to buy everything from Lenovo, obviously Lenovo has uh, meeting rooms devices that can fit small, medium, and on some extent, the large rooms. And we step recently into the next phase of the game. You're seeing the bottom, what we call Sync Smart View Plus. I know the sound, the, the name is a little bit long and sounds confusing, but uh, it's a 27 inch device all in one with interactive screen with a computer in the back that is now used in for very small meeting rooms or individual places or for hot desking environment, what Microsoft is preaching recently, which is, let's say, the new way of working uh, in some uh, offices where people don't have their table and chair anymore fixed. So they need to come from time to time to the office. So they will just use some personal device for conferencing. There are some a lot of uh, case studies around this top product, but let's not focus on it. Let's talk about the whole picture. What is really interesting on the Teams devices, where uh, Lenovo is providing three years standard warranty, uh, regardless where you are, that's a really important message because sometimes people are saying, okay, but I'm going to buy from Bulgaria and I need to ship to Serbia or to Macedonia. And doesn't matter, we are uh, repairing everything on the site of the customer. So Lenovo is taking that responsibility, not the partner, to repair it on the site of the customer, wherever they are, regardless where they bought. And also we are bundling all of this hard hardware with a lot of nice services, support services. And also all the devices are managed through the SyncSmart Manager, which is our cloud management tool. And I'm going to make a very bold statement right now, saying that this is probably the best software management. And I can say that because I'm in the industry for more than 24 years. So I used to work for all the almost all the competitors. So I know what the others have and what Lenovo has. And guys, trust me, I can I can demonstrate anytime, anywhere that this is probably the best management software that we are offering together with our hardware. Now, going uh, uh, faster because we have some, uh, we are running behind the schedule. Uh, quickly, what are the options in, in uh, uh, when we are talking about Teams licenses? We having obviously the individual license. So what we are using right now on our laptops or workstations or whatever desktops, right? But then we have the special license for the meeting rooms, which is called Teams Rooms. The shortcut name is MTR. In the industry, we are using this acronym, MTR. And we have a new types of license that most of you are not aware. It's called Teams Display and is basically an evolution of the license used for the phones. So, all three types of licenses can be connected to the Lenovo video conferencing devices. So let's take some examples. If you have only the individual license, you can still connect your laptop to our camera and the sound bar, and then you are just going to run the conference from your laptop, but you are going to take benefits of a 4K camera, so high quality camera with speaker tracking, with auto framing and so on. All the features that you will expect to have it in 2023. And you'll benefit also from a high quality soundbar 
with embedded mic four microphones and four speakers that can cover up to 60 square meters. So let's say 14 people in the same meeting room. Also with some extended microphones that you can attach on the table. So if you just have this license, you can use some peripherals from Lenovo. But if you want to get rid of the cables in the meeting room, then uh, also you need to understand what the hell is going on with the conference room. What is the status of the equipment? Because you know what, I'm I'm working with, a, I'm, I'm meeting a lot of uh, customers and the IT support of the customers are just desperate because that their colleagues are calling and say, hey, I don't know how to start on the, the equipment. I don't know wh uh, why the camera is not working. So if you need to monitor the conference room to see uh, in real life, what is the status? Maybe someone disconnect the camera, someone disconnected the cables, the microphones, or you need to have a full integrated hardware with the current management tools in your organization, like the Intune or I don't know, uh, TPM and so on, then definitely you need a installed computer in the meeting room. So that specialized computer, it's using the Teams Rooms license. Okay, and we have two scenarios here. As I mentioned before, either you convert your existing bring your own device solution, which means that today people are coming with their laptop, or you deploy an MTR and then just add some peripherals either from Lenovo, either from one of our partners that has been listed there in order to get the best experience for that specific room. Then, we have the third scenarios, uh, and this is addressing the Teams display license. And uh, when you have high demanding users, like so let's take for example, people that have uh, no time to waste, like the top management of the company. Imagine that those guys are coming, they have to participate in a call, they open up their laptop at a specific time and then bam, Windows is asking for an update or they have a blue screen. Of course, this is not happening with the Lenovo computers, but let's say it might happen. So in that case, they need to have access all the time to a personal device. Uh, or if you have a phone booth where two or three people, like in the pictures I, I'm just showing in the in the top right part, uh, they need to isolate and have a discussion with someone from other office. Or if you need to implement hot desking environment, or you just have some specific projects, like uh, we are working some on some virtual uh, remote healthcare using virtual receptionist function then you need to go for the Teams display and also Lenovo has a device, this 27 inch that I just mentioned earlier. So regardless of the type of the license, regardless of the types of the meeting rooms, regardless of the your uses scenario, there is always something that you can use uh, from Lenovo. Uh, and again, very important, all the Lenovo devices are coming with some really cool features, really cool services embedded. And I will give you an example here, the deployment and maintenance. So when you buy a device from Lenovo for the first year, if you don't know how to set up your Teams admin center, uh, let, just call Lenovo and Lenovo will help you free of charge for one year, even though it's not a Lenovo, Tips is not a Lenovo product, right? It's Microsoft product. But Lenovo is helping the customers free of charge because as much as we'd like to think that Teams is a plug and play or easy to use, there are still issues with net, with proxy setup and so on. Really complicated stuff. And then you just need to open some ports and so on. So if you don't know how to use that and you don't know, have the expertise, just call Lenovo. Right, so there are a lot, a lot of, of services embedded into the price. Uh, last but not least, there is a interesting discussion because almost all our portfolio of MTR, no, 
all MTRs from Lenovo are based on Windows only. And it's not a regular Windows, as you can imagine, it's Windows IoT. And, but Mark, uh, the, the other uh, big players are pushing towards Android. And there is a big debate around that. What is the best? And obviously there is no black and white. There is no, def there is no 100% accurate answer saying only Windows or only Android. There is a lots of gray. And I would love to meet you all on a later stage, on a different day, if you are keen to talk about Windows versus Android and what is the best for your organization. And uh, we have some uh, really, we could have some really, really good technical discussion about that important topic. And maybe CloudFresh can help us to organize it on a later stage. So just to summarize, why Lenovo? Because it's right now, it's the manufacturer number one in teams of MTRs in the world based on Windows. And it's trustable brand you, everybody knows Lenovo and we have even some big fans around that uh, there is a solid relationship between Lenovo and Microsoft and this is on R&D level not just we are not just putting a license or a windows on the devices we are developing products together and there is some specific uh, topics like uh, easy of use uh, and reliability and so on Everything comes with the standard three-year warranty and a lot of services that can be uh, implemented everywhere in the world, regardless from where the, you are purchasing the devices. So having said that, I would like to thank you so much for being here. And I would like to now to, to pass the control to Peño. Thank you, Tudor. Uh, first, I want to apologize for the well-timed power cut which I had <laughs> while Efienia is uh, rewinding the presentation. Yeah, yeah, just, uh, just, uh huh. One moment, please. Sir. Mm -hmm. And I will try to be extra fast so I leave uh, time for questions and let you have the chance to win this power bank which CloudFresh is offering. Um, my presentation is based on basically Microsoft technology and I chose that case study uh, in order to basically show that almost for free you can get functionality which nowadays you have to pay. Uh, with, this is a case study from the pandemic times uh, and it is not with Sofarma, which is my current employer. It's the biggest pharmaceutical company in Bulgaria. It's from a previous employer, which are, were active in water management and manufacturing. So it is based on Microsoft bookings. I'm not sure if you know about that. Microsoft has many, let's say, uh, cloud-based Outlook add-ons, etc., cetera, etc. Cetera. Microsoft Booking is one of them, just like Microsoft Planner and many others. And what was the business case? The business case was that we had a headquarter in Klagenfurt in Austria with 35 employees, and during COVID uh, we had to scale down, basically because many people have to stay home. Um, it's not worth paying the extra office space and uh, we moved to a smaller office, um, exactly almost half, you know, uh, smaller than the original one was. And we had a task to create a very fast generic booking system, how we can deal with the, hot, the very popular nowadays term, hot desking. The solution we found, which is almost for free, so it's free with the Office 365 license, which we already had, was Microsoft Bookings. It was covering the Jeremy functionality. It has a mobile app and it was very, very easy, both for the user and the administrator, fully based on Microsoft technology. The subsequent slides I will not show in detail. I will just mention what are the, let's say, the main parameters of the of the solution which we chose. And it was basically set up the resources which we had in the office. So office desks, phone booths, parking spaces, 
set the available services. So being able to book a desk for half a day or full a day, book the phone booth for half an hour or one hour or subsequent uh, more time and the parking spaces. And as you could see, and I consider that as a bonus because I think the presentation will be distributed from CloudFresh after that, everybody can take the subsequent slides and set up that by himself, even he is not a, if he is not an IT user or an administrator. So you just need a cloud license, Microsoft bookings, register your services. Uh, actually, this is the, the user interface, so how easy it is to book. Just select the service, select the date you want to book, choose the choose the, the time and, and book it. Um, you can then reschedule, cancel the booking, and on the, on the admin site, it's very easy to oversee what is currently booked, who is in the office, who is out of the office. If you need, you can manage and change some of the bookings, of course, uh, cancel, etc. So, yeah, less than five minutes, as I promised. <laughs> so now the stage is for all the participants to ask questions. <laughs> Evgenia, back to you. Hello, this is Emma speaking uh, yes, from Trask no, Solutions. Thank you so much. Yes, just one moment. I will take control and uh, I will back to uh, our um, Q&A session. So I would like to back to our chat. I just um, saw the question, uh, I suppose, for Max. Uh, just one moment, please. Mm -hmm. Uh, can Microsoft Intune be used as an MDM and MAM solution for uh, Mac, Android, and iOS? And I suppose one of our guests uh, gave the right question. Uh, yes. So, Max, if you would, if you uh, can share maybe just some more information, you are welcome. Yeah, basically, it is a correct answer that Microsoft Intune can manage these platforms. Also, you can. I uh, have many capabilities and to manage fully these devices and operation systems. Yeah, you can manage Android and iOS for sure. Thank you, Max. Uh, so the next question is from Kate. Uh, so if I understand uh, correctly, I can use uh, Lenovo Think Smart with different video conference solutions, Teams, Zoom, Google Meet. Uh, Chudor, uh, this question is for you. Yeah, and that's just reply in the chat. That's correct. <laughs> yes, you can use it, but being talking about Teams, obviously we'll talk about Teams right now. So obviously Zoom and Google Meet and are more than welcome. And also you can talk with WebEx. Thank you, Tudor. And uh, the last question is from Sergey. Uh, the question is for Peño. Peño, what other Microsoft uh, 365 services besides bookings are often used in your company and how convenient are they for you? Um, many is the short answer, but um, one thing which I want to add to Pavel's presentation, which I didn't uh, see in whole, but he was mentioning how important Teams is to collaborate internally. One of the things we use Teams for is to collaborate externally also, because you know there are many projects in which you have third parties, different vendors, etc., cetera, etc., cetera, and this is one great possibility to put all them in one collaboration space. So we are extensively using MS Teams, and in MS Teams we have a lot of the so-called add-ons from Microsoft, Bookings, Planner, we are extensively using also Power Platform to do a lot of automation between Outlook and Teams because um, uh, I'm not sure if you are aware, but with uh, Power Platform, just with few clicks, you can automate tasks like approvals, like uh, gathering of information, like conditional sharing, etc., cetera, etc. Cetera. So we are extensively using Power Platform as well. 
thank you, Penny. And I see the last question uh, is from Matthew. Penny, if you were to have users on your Microsoft 365 admin center, but without an Microsoft 365 license, no basic standard or premium, would they still be able to book company resources, rooms, desks, parkings, etc., as you described? As long as they have Microsoft account, it's possible. We haven't allowed it, but it is possible as long as if they, if they have actually it is recognized. It's not only Microsoft, but I think Google is accepted also. Uh, so everyone who can participate as a guest in a Teams meeting, I think can uh, use the bookings uh, if you allow it on the on the admin page on the cloud. Um, the other thing which is important to mention is in my current company, we have introduced the same solution and we have um, more than 230 pharmacies which have basic, I think E1 is the Microsoft uh, license and they are fully utilizing all the services which we have provided. So Power Platform, Planner, et cetera, et cetera, through MS Teams is working just with E1 license as well. So you don't need an expensive Microsoft license to use a lot of these add-ons. So uh, thank you very much, uh, Peño, and I would like uh, to ask all our speakers to choose the most interesting questions, please. <laughs> More of the questions were like on Peño, so Peño, please choose. Well, before choosing, uh, I would like to also mention that we are using Lenovo in our meeting rooms, sometimes integrated, and I can confirm that what Tudor says is true. It works and it collaborates, so it adds a lot of pragmatic approach to your planning of the of the meeting rooms connectivity. Um, the most interesting question, uh, I would say, is the last one, because uh, for me, yes, for me, the the license implication is important, and Microsoft uh, lately has been quite generous in this approach. So initially, when we started, we did a lot of feasibility study on which uh, solution and which licensing structure to base our collaboration, and our cloud strategy is fully Microsoft centered. So I think yes, this is. A good, the, a good question, and I think it will add a lot of value to everybody who participated. I don't know who who asked it. Let me see, Matthias. Yes. Thank so, you. congratulations. Thank you. So, <laughs> so you are the winner. Uh, uh, I will write you and describe how you uh, can receive our prize. So please check your email for me. And uh, the last is, please, I uh, ask you to scan the QR code in order to connect with our team today and to explore the power and possibilities of Microsoft 365. Uh, and uh, I would like to thank you all to thank to say thank you to our speakers, to our guests. Thank you for your time. I hope this webinar uh, was useful for, useful for you, and I wish you a good day. Thank you very much. Thank, Thank you, you again. Thank you. 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 Th